All right, let's move on to uh, session 13 here. Section 13, I guess you say, part 13, whatever you want to call it. Part 13 of session three. So I'm going to share my screen here. So on this session, we're going to be talking really about your team of vendors. Who do you need to delegate and defer to? So first and foremost, servicing companies are one of the most important things. Um, as a new note investor, you're actually going to, you know, there's a, there's a handful of, of companies that will work with new investors that have less than 100 note deals. You're starting to see more vendors, more servicers as uh, going to, hey, you need to have a minimum amount of loans with us to do business with. Madison Management will do it. They deal with one. They deal with all sorts of real estate uh, related debt servicing. They're not going to do it on auto payments or credit cards or medical bills. They don't do that. Um, on that link there, you see there is our interview with Shante Duffy from our previous virtual workshop or note camp. The great interview talking about kind of services and what they offer. Uh, you can use all, also Allied Servicing will also work with a lot of new investors. Uh, Madison's is licensed about 30 states. Allied's licensed about 12 states. Now they're collecting in other states, um, but they, they can't do the legal aspect of that. Now, both your service, your, all your servicing companies should have a list of attorneys in other states, uh, or in the states that they're working with uh, to help with the foreclosure and the local legal aspects, okay? FCI servicing, I'm not a fan of. Yes, they, uh, they're cheap, they have an online portal, but they, their customer service is just horrible. It's really hard to get a hold of somebody. SN servicing uh, is more expensive than really anybody else. They'll do it. They've also got notes available for sale. One of their asset manager, David Polio, over there will move assets and, and market stuff on a regular basis. But they're awful, really expensive when it comes to the workout stuff. So we like Madison Management. So we've, you're, you, you use, we've used a variety of others uh, out there as well. Land Homes, another service you could use. Uh, note Servicing Center does with uh, performing notes. You know, there's a whole variety of things, you know, um, yeah, there's, a, you know, there's a bunch of different services. Some are just licensed in specific states, some are um, in multiple states. So always, always, you don't need, you don't need a service that's licensed in all state, all 50 states, because if you're not buying in all 50 states, it doesn't matter. So make sure you check with your servicing company. Madison's, you know, like I said, they're about 30, 35 states, and they're constantly updating things as well, okay? Uh, you're going to need a title company to pull your O&E reports, your ownership and encumbrance reports to see what's on title. Now, yes, you can reach out to a local title company, but you don't need a full title report. Full title report costs you like 200, 250 bucks. You just need a, a title update or a, two, a previous two owner. Because you gotta realize you're buying a note, the title is still in effect from the previous, uh, when the loan was originated. If title is bought, so I, this is one thing I don't like about owner finance notes, not every uh, owner finance uh, originator it's title insurance. I don't like that. I want to make sure there's title insurance in effect. So we just do a two previous owner report, uh, an O&E report. It's about a hundred bucks. It's a lot cheaper than a full title report. And we use Pro Title USA for that. Uh, Alex Godofsky is the president. There's a link to um, a session with Pro Title talking about some of the due diligence, really great session on some of the due diligence stuff of your assets. So I would highly watch both that one and the video from Madison Management. Um, there's a lot of valuation and BPO companies. We've talked about a few, like NAR, RPR, Note Pros. Those are going to be online values. Um, there are also nationwide BPO companies that can pull stuff for you. you uh, we'll give you a couple references or, you know, uh, trying to think here. What's Michelle work for? She works for uh, is it Valuation Vision, Value Vision, something like that. BPOs, you know, it all depends if it's interior, exterior, um, you know, that, that can vary, but, but a, a BPO will run you 150 to 250 bucks, especially if it's, an, if it's just an exterior, probably about 125, 150. So we try to work with local realtors. Oftentimes we can get a, a, just as good a report on a CMA and then see NASA for 50 bucks. Okay. Uh, foreclosure attorneys. Look, servicing companies, I've said before, have their own list. There's a variety that we use in different states. Um, a lot of your servicers will have, like I said, a list, but if you've got a familiarity with another attorney in that same state, hey, just have them reach out there. Often servicing companies will sign up attorneys relatively easy for a vendor. Um, if you don't know an attorney, you can always use the WCN Facebook group to ask, hey, who's a good, good attorney here or there? You may also want to go to legalleague100.com. It's a website. It's uh, operated by defaultservicingnews.com. And there's a, uh, attorneys in every state and it tells you a little bit of bio, what they are, what they're going for. One thing about if you're buying a note that's already in legal, um, reach out to the attorneys and see, okay, you may not want to transfer legal. If it's already with an existing servicing company, it's going almost all the way to foreclosure. 
you may want to keep it with existing servicing company. If it's going to be longer than 90 days um, or 120 days to foreclose, then you may want to move it to your servicer so it's all in-house. Try to systematize and keep things simple if you can. Um, but attorneys, you know, if sometimes I've bought notes where the legal fees were already paid up, so we didn't have to pay anything else to foreclose. And others, the legal bills weren't paid up, and so we had to pay um, new, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, it uh, they pay money to our, our attorneys to start the process to finish it up. Uh, a retainer, you know, a retainer fee is going to be 1000 or 1500 bucks. Rarely have I ever gotten a, uh, a refund back on my retainer. Usually it's going to cost more than that. So I did yesterday, or sorry, a couple, uh, a couple week or two ago, I got a, a refund a retainer check. I was like, holy cow, I got 1100 bucks back. That's pretty rare. Right? But attorneys, same thing, just they ask for referrals. Who's used who, who used it. I was at an event and I saw a foreclosure attorney get up and speak in an event in Ohio. And I was like, I would never use that guy. He did not come across well. He's like, oh, performing, re-performing notes never happened. Loan mods never happened. And then I got to talking to him and I realized he only just did foreclosures. That's why he felt that way. But you know, when you have a negative outlook, ugh, not what you want to do, okay? Special servicing companies, Singer Law Group's a company we've used before, aggressive loan workout companies. There's also a couple other ones out there. Ask for referrals on these things. There's a video that we did with the interview with Daniel Singer uh, about Singer Law Group. As you mentioned before, collateral review and storage companies. Um, when you have a loan, you got to realize you're buying the loan file. And the last thing you want is your dog to piss on it, your kid to draw on it, or the cat to take a crap on it. Use it as a litter box, okay? So you want to secure your loan collateral file somewhere, either in a safe, safe deposit box. Um, a lot of people will use collateral, uh, collateral storage companies. They can get expensive. So you gotta keep in mind here, like Joel Markovitz, he's a collateral review company, not a collateral storage. Uh, CSC and Richmond or Monroe, collateral storage companies. They'll charge, I don't know what the fees are, but it's like maybe an annual fee or a monthly fee per file that they have on file for you. So what I do though, is that we've got a bunch, it's much cheaper for me to, to rent out at a, a climate controlled storage facility here in town, climate controlled air on the fourth or fifth floor uh, and a 10 by 10. So I got a 10 by 10 that's got all our storage files in there. Something happens, like if a flooding comes through, I'm, I'm fine. They're all on watertight boxes. So if a, you know, take an act of God really for this thing to go down, but they're protected. And then I also have insurance um, on, on the whole for, portfolio. CSC usually wants you to have about a hundred files to deal with them. Richmond Monroe will do one offs. Uh, Madison management will can, can store your files. I think it's $40 per file per year. It's not bad. Uh, Shantae Duffy will also do collateral. I think she charges 125. Um, but you, you know, that's the cost if you're going to have, uh, servicing with them. Okay. That's right. Sri. Thank you. Uh, allied stores collateral files for free. If you book the performing loan with them. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think Madison does it for free, but they'll do it at discounted price. But the thing about Ally, you gotta be careful. Like I said, they're only licensed in about 12 states, okay? Um, if you're looking for realtors, you always need a good realtor, an investor-friendly realtor in your local market. You can go to realtor.com to find somebody. You're gonna see, what I like about realtor.com, tells you how many listings they've had in the last year, um, the price range. If, you see a realtor's price range is 500 above and your deal is 100, probably not a good, good source. Okay, but you see somebody all over the place, great. Uh, ActiveRain.com is, is a free website you can go to and check out other realtors and other vendors in your areas. NAR.com, like I talked about that website before, NARRPR.com for real property reports. Your realtors or NAR can, people can pull this on properties anywhere in the country. The last thing you want is somebody in Texas pulling an NARRP report and say Chicago. They don't drive the property. I only use that as a last resort. Um, I am a big fan of contacting the local RIA clubs or meetup groups and asking for a good investor-friendly agent that way. That's a better success rate for success or um, searching for a real estate company, a real estate office near your asset and then contacting the office and say, I'm looking for uh, you know somebody hungry, a new agent or somebody to help me out. Uh, on a property versus calling the most experienced. You're not going to call an REO agent because an REO agent, no offense, is their book of business. They're not going to deal with driving on the BPOs. But 
your local agent, your local agent's hungry, they can turn into an REO agent, your REO agent for your assets. So it's a, it's a win-win there for them, okay? Property insurance companies, there's two big ones. REI Group out of Kansas City is a big one. Uh, and then Ross Diversified Insurance is another one. Um, yes, you want to get insurance on the assets, but your costs are going to vary across the board. Where it's located, the zip code, you can do a full replacement value, full valuation, just for the cost of the note, a fraction of the cost of the note. It's, I can't quote you prices until you take a look at it. Um, usually, I mean, uh, Ross doesn't have an online portal, but you get really great uh, customer service from the Botkiss brothers. REI Group has an online portal, not quite as good uh, customer service. And I mean, that they're, I mean, I'm wrong. they're pretty easy, but they like you to use the, the, the portal for the most part. Um, and they want you to have a property manager, your realtor or attorney, which you can use them as your property manager within 120 miles of your asset. And I think it's the case of both, uh, across both places. Uh, but you, the bigger your portfolio goes, the more systems you want to have, make sure that what you're paying for on a monthly basis is going to cover what happens in a case. I've paid for insurance on assets that when they got broken into or trashed out on, the insurance company wouldn't, wouldn't uh, cover me. And I've been paying money into it. Very, very irritated in that case. So double check and make sure you talk to your agent at those. Now, you're, you're going to need to put also forced place insurance on these assets, especially the notes. Um, not everybody understands forced place insurance. When you buy a note and it's occupied, all right, the insurance coverage needs to transfer use being the pay, the pay, uh, the payable party in case something happens. So your servicing company will, should be reaching out if you're doing full service should be reaching out to collect a, hey, we need to get proof of insurance and that the companies have changed. If they don't provide that, then you definitely want to put force place insurance, put force place insurance as you fund. And then as you're getting those notices, you can withdraw um, insurance on if it's covered and then the company will refund you back that month. But if they don't, then you need to put it on there. And then that can also, it's, a, it's also a payable um, that the, you get the bar to pay that plus back taxes or other things that you can put that against their escrow. Okay. All right. But insurance, I'm not an insurance agent. I encourage you to reach out to Ross Diversified Insurance. They're out of Orange County, California. REI groups out of Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. Uh, there's property preservation groups. If your house, if you're buying a note, it's a vacant house. It is truly vacant. You have the right to go protect your assets. Go change the locks, winterize it, secure it to protect your investment. You have the total right to do that. If you're foreclosing and going that route, or there's a statute of limitations um, afterwards where like in Alabama, if I buy a note and foreclose, the borrower has a year to come back. I'm sorry, not a statute of limitations, a redemption period is the more accurate. They have a year to come back and pay me off and take the property back. Same thing in Minnesota. I think Minnesota is six months. In Texas, uh, it's six months for a homestead, I think, homestead. No, 12 months for a homestead. Six months from investment property. Most of that gets waived though. So anyway, go protect your assets is vacant. If it's not vacant, it's occupied. You can't go in and change the locks. It doesn't work that way. But make sure it's the right property. And I like reaching out to local uh, realtors who have a better uh, feeling the pulse for property res preservation company. They often will have a vendor that you work with on a regular basis. Okay. Um, and then always, if they're going to go change the locks, I make sure the realtor meets the locksmith there so they can take photos and see what the, the property looks like. Okay. Um, Baldwin Advisory Group, phenomenal company, baldwinadvisorygroup.com. This is by, uh, owned by Dickie Baldwin. Dickie's got over 40 years in the real estate mortgage investment note space out there. And he's done a great job of basically putting his Rolodex together for you guys. If you go to Baldwin Advisory Group, they've got a variety of services and a network of professionals you reach out to from skip tracing to yard maintenance to realtors to even investors. So if you go to Baldwin Advisory Group and check it out, um, we did a webinar with Dickie on Note Night in America. You can check out the link and see all the different services he provides, title, BPOs, you know, um, he's a, 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 a true network of vendors to help you out with there. Uh, he's usually receiving some sort of SPIF affiliate fee. It's not anything you're paying for, um, but that's how he's compensated is, is working with affiliates on all these vendors. So it's a good, good tool to have for you guys, okay? Any questions about your team? So obviously servicing company, realtors, title, real estate agents, okay? Insurance, 
collateral review. All right, collateral review, collateral holding, property preservation for you guys. Okay. Um, and you probably need to have, well, yeah, I know if you end up doing a repair, you need to have a team to help with the repair after that. I, when I buy notes, I really, if I'm only, if I'm buying notes in Florida and Texas, those are really the only two states I want to do any type of heavy rehab. And I prefer heavy rehab not to be like full blown, like down to the studs. I'm paint carpet kind of guy. Um, I'll change some appliances up and things like that. You know, lawn work as well too, but I'll usually keep that just to South Florida. Basically from Orlando down, I'll, I'll look at doing more of a rehab. If you just basically draw a line or take that across from Orlando, yeah, I'll look at Tampa. Occasionally I'll look in Jacksonville, it just depends on the situation. But in Jacksonville, I got a really good agent who has helped me on rehabs and managed it. Same thing in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral, Lehigh Acres. I got a couple agents down there. One particular, Brent Garrett, who's just phenomenal. So if you need referrals, that's what I'm saying. Reach out to me, reach out in the WCN uh, crew Facebook group, and then also reach out to um, Baldwin and Advisory Group. Questions about your vendors? I did a video uh, a year ago about your Magnificent Seven on Note Night in America, talking about uh, is, is seven key members of your team that you need to have. And that's the thing, guys. Take those members, those companies, and put them on your website. Say, hey, here's our team. Here's our who we recommend. Um, you know, on your executive summary, on your pitch books, on when you're doing a deal, you know, when you're sending out to investors, hey, here's our team. Here's who we use. They handle this for us. They handle this. Here's our insurance company. Here's our collateral review company, that kind of stuff. All right. That works in your favor. Any questions? We'll wrap up part 13 here and we dive into the virtual networking. I know you're going to have more questions. It's okay. Reach out to me or hey, join us next weekend.